Everything started out normal. I'd only been working at the library a few weeks, and beside the odd flickering light bulb, everything about the building itself seemed normal. At first. But something in the crisp October air seemed to send a chill down the spine of this building, and I was walking right into the heart of it. The walls seemed to watch you as you passed, echoing every step as if its large hollow frame was walking right beside you. But the mind plays tricks. It warns you of faces and mirrors and shadows and corners, when all that lingers is the dark itself, absent and unarmed. I figured I must just be paranoid, but one early morning it seemed I was not alone in my suspicions. Please be advised that certain unexplained phenomenon have taken place over the last few weeks at our McLaughlin branch. Staff have reported cell phone interference, misplaced belongings, cold spots, disembodied voices, and flickering lights. We are working to get to the bottom of these occurrences, of which we are certain there is a reasonable explanation for. For the time being, please make extra effort to follow safety protocols and report any strange sightings. Thank you and happy October. Oh, yeah, but I'm sure it's nothing. I mean, this is an old building. You know, cold spots and bad cell reception are normal. But I guess they're also normal in cursed buildings. Cursed? Well, it's probably just an old campfire tale we tell to the late shifters to freak them out. But I still don't go downstairs alone. Why? Well, the story goes. Every October since this place first opened, abnormal things would start to happen downstairs. It started off small, flickering lights and cold patches, you know, the basics. But then things began to shift. Objects would disappear and reappear in new places. Librarians would find stacks of books that they had just finished putting on the shelves stored downstairs. Whispers and scratching noises were heard in empty hallways. Some people even say that they saw mysterious figures roaming the halls after dark. Anyway, it all came to a head on Halloween night, sometime in the 1960s. When the clock struck 8 p.m., just as all the staff were about to leave, they saw... Oh, three o'clock. I'm done for the day. Gotta go. Wait. Bye! Bye. I know there were a million reasons not to believe Laura's twisted tale. It was probably just a fault event causing the cold spots and our phone reception can be spotty. But I couldn't get this theory out of my head. I had to find the truth. Thankfully, there's a treasure trove of local history just downstairs.